All right, guys, so uh, I know I'm a little bit late. This news broke dirt while I was at work, uh, so I couldn't get you guys a video about it, but we all expected it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do an overview of the Dokkan thank you login bonuses uh, for the Super Gogeta and Nemba stuff that's coming out this week. Super hype. So it's going to happen on Thursday, by the way. So uh, let's see over here. We do have it on, well, my computer's on a load. There we go. It happens on Thursday, which is the 23rd. That's the day that the uh, category banner ends. Not the category banner, the uh, discounted summons uh, end. Don't do it. Don't do the discount. Um, I just, I'm just telling you right now. It, it ends up being 30 stones per multi summon because you only get five cards per multi summon. So it's really, it's not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Don't, don't do it. If you haven't done it already, don't do it. <laughs> um, the cool thing is the Fusions banner runs until the 27th. So because it runs until the 27th, when the discounts start, there are discount stones, and the discount stones start on the 23rd. Uh, you can pull on the Gogeta Janemba banner. Let's say you get really lucky, and you pull what you want to pull right off the bat, and you're thinking about pulling on the Fusions banner. Well, now you have the ability to do so because you have about five days' worth of discounted, multis, or discounted stones that you can purchase while that's going on, um, while, while the event's live or that, sum that summon's live. All right, cool. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about a login. Every day, you can get up to 44 times Dragonstones. 44 Dragonstones. Freaking awesome. I know some of you guys probably are asking questions as to what are those tickets that became available to you. Well, those tickets are the uh, Ticket Summon Tucket. Ticket Summon A. Thank you, Summon A Ticket, or Ticket A and Ticket B. Uh, you get them upon first login. Um, and I believe there's going to be something that you get like login bonuses for so that way you can get additional and then you go and summon on a banner I'll do them with you guys while that comes around uh, So don't worry about that. I'll definitely make sure to go ahead and do that with you uh, It's gonna be a lot. I'm, I'm probably gonna do what I did on the JP side when they had their ticket bonuses and stuff I'll save them all for the end and then I'll do them all in one shot together with you guys and we'll, we'll go from there um, there's a lot of bonuses, a lot of, of rewards going on right now as well. Let's go ahead and talk about that. So this is over here. The thank you celebration is now on. Um, let's see. Event details and schedule. This is essentially the roster of stuff that's going to be coming on. Uh, Dokkan thank you event login bonuses start the 19th, which is today. Uh, so that's already started. So that's freaking awesome. So this is when we get the first login bonus. Get two. Should have gotten a couple dragon stones, a couple tickets. Uh, thank you, celebration special missions, eleven nineteen. So go ahead, check out the mission rewards. I actually have them up. Um, let's see, time limited. Consume at least a hundred stamina. You have until December eleventh or eleventh. Yeah, December eleventh to do that, and you get two dragon stones for doing that. Three hundred stamina gives you uh, p intelligence, potential orbs, and other. I think it's uh, intelligence and strength only for Gogeta and Janemba. So you get a thousand for doing 300 stamina. 500 stamina gives you Elder Kai uh, times one. 777 stamina gives you intelligence and strength large orbs, 200 of them. 1000 stamina gives you 10 dragon stones. Uh, you clear a quest stage once. You have until the 12th to do it. If you clear a quest stage, you get a dragon stone for that. You only get it once. And then you have the basic stuff for collecting radishes and stuff. If you haven't already done that for the other event that's coming on, um, for uh, the Yosan Goku and his friend returns, or Goku and his friends are back, whatever version you want to think of it as. Anyway, that's that. Second, dragon stones are going to be on sale. Buy five dragon stones at the price of one dragon stone once per day. That's actually a really good value uh, if you think about it. One, well, one dragon stone or one dollar per five dragon stones, right? Uh, so let's do, what is that? That's 90, and then you do divided by five. So that's eighteen dollars essentially you're spending for ninety dragon stones. That's a really good freaking deal. So eighteen bucks for ninety dragon stones is definitely not that bad. You just got to purchase it every day. You have six dragon stones for forty percent discount two times only. That's usually really good. That's a really good deal. Twelve dragon stones fifty percent discount two times only. That's usually a good deal. Thirty-two dragon stones fifty percent discount three times only. Getting a little bit higher in the cost anyway. And then ninety-one uh, dragon stones for twenty percent discount. Not the best. You could do it up to seven times though. A lot of people go ham on these banners um i'll probably do the discount summons and then i'll probably do like one or two multi summons on the fusions banner um and then maybe we'll go back to this banner depending on how it goes i'm not going too ham on this because uh, well you'll see my video that comes up in the next couple days about the category system and in the future what it holds um regardless of that i don't really you know it's not a primary concern of mine i'm really going for a hybrid saiyan team but for someone like you you may want to actually go hard on this in addition there's going to be a two-time only super discount for 77 dragon stones that's available at the time 
So uh, we don't know when that's going to be, how much it's going to cost, but we're going to have to wait and find out. Uh, it's going to start on the 23rd. So again, we have a couple days. It's all going to be on Thursday when all this starts. Luckily for me, that's my Friday. So I'll be here with you guys to, to I'll probably have a video up that night for you going over this. Number four, Dual Dokkan Fest starts on the 23rd. 100 hours only super multi-summit discount. So it's essentially, usually what they do is they do the first three discounted summons. It's usually like, I don't know, like 10 dragon stones or 15 dragon stones for the first multi-summon, then like 25 and then like 40 or something like that. And then they'll do one for free. And then that's usually on each banner. So good luck to all of you who are actually going for it. Uh, again, I'm not going to go too ham on it. I don't, you know, I, I like the card. They're very OP, but I'm not going to go too ham on it. You guys definitely will probably do so. Um, this runs until 10... 12, uh, 12 10 at least the Dokkan event uh, will run the actual dual Dokkan fest runs until the 24th and then I guess we have a special Christmas Day banner Christmas Day they do um, specials on Dokkan last year they gave us like three guaranteed leaders um, or Dokkan fest exclusives uh, in a banner for our GSSR and usually and they had a really decent pull rates on there as well um, so that's that the Geneba and Gogeta events are going to be running till the 10th and they're going to be starting on the 23rd as well unrivaled okay now here is what is happening. I am calling it Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron are coming back. They are probably going to be on the banners, guys. This is what I'm talking about right here. 11:23 Thursday, they will be back. Those events will be available. Oh man, so that they're, they're probably going to be on the banner. They are probably going to be there. If that's the case, I might actually go ham because I don't have either of them. I really want the Omega. I uh, really, really want that Omega. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, so that's going to be there. We have the new agility characters, the Pan for the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team and Meta Rildo for the uh, Super 17 team. So that's awesome. Uh, that's going to be running from 1127 on Monday until the 11th of December, which is cool. Uh, the Girl Power Banner, which really holds no real relevance because there's no actual good units in here, except for maybe if they give us Khalifla um, or if they do something like, you know, Kefla. <laughs> if they give it to us early, that would be freaking cool. One featured... Uh, SSR. If they do Kefla, they'll definitely be people summoning on the spanner. I don't know if I will, but, you know, uh, discounted stuff. Baba Shop has 30% off, so that's awesome. Um, great sales there. Uh, probabilities of big, great, and super success are tr uh, doubled in training. So there's no guaranteed big, which kind of stinks. You, they used to do that. Uh, but quest has tripled. Rank quest is tripled. That's awesome. Uh, the Adventure of Gratitude is here. So that's his Goku. Uh, He's not really that amazing, but he's there. You can use him to feed into the other Goku youths that you have if you happen to have them. Uh, that's worth investing in because though I'm at Super Attack 10, uh, if you like to run this kind of team, the Bizarre Rabbit Mob event is coming. Uh, Balma finally gets her Doken Awakening, which is going to be awesome. Make sure you Doken Awaken her. And that's going to be the 17th. That's going to start on December 3rd and run until the 18th. So we have a lot of stuff going, a lot of cool things that are happening over here. Uh, biggest ones is going to be Gogeta Janemba and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron. So again, I will be summoning on these banners. I will definitely do some summonings on Thursday night with you guys. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, on top of that, we have the appreciation pack with the blue stone. Now I will be doing a video on this separately. I still have my video up from last time, the redstone blue stone, or we may get the redstone. There's been no information about a redstone coming around, but we could possibly get a redstone. If you get the redstone, Super Saiyan 3 agility Goku, uh, just because he's going to be the first Z-Awakening, he's going pretty hard. Also, full power freeze, obviously, because full power freeze, when he gets his extreme Z-Awakening, it's going to be intense. Anyway, um, out of all of these guys, they are really good units. Buhan doesn't have anyone. It's like no future version of him at this time, so that's pretty interesting. Um, I could see them doing a Majin Buu. Well, actually, they already do the Majin Buu Saga. So, I mean, whatever. I'm done thinking about category leads, but um, Super Vegito is really, really good. Uh, this is just off the top of my head. Super Vegito, and then between Buhan and uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, both of them are uh, you know optim uh, optimal for their teams. Uh, Omega Shenron, not so much anymore. He is optimal for his team with uh, the Janemba, if you end up getting Janemba, but um, he is not as optimal anymore because he's not going to be run too often. Plus, you have the physical Omega, which replaces him. Now, that's kind of the problem that some of these guys have. Like, the like Super Vegito, uh, Gotenks, and Omega, they all have replacements right now. Uh, the thing is, if you don't get those replacements, I mean, Vegito doesn't have a replacement on Global yet, so he's still a very viable option. But again, I'm not going to do a full in-depth review on this because it's going to be for a separate video, but because Vegito doesn't have a replacement, he's still going to be the number one uh, option for you to run. He's still the number one unit you're going to run on a mono agility team, the same thing with the Gotenks, and the same thing with the Buhan, um, and Omega. <laughs> so they're all really good units, it's really hard to make that decision. But uh, if just for a quick overview, the, it's kind of worth it if you don't have one of them, or if you're a brand new player, it's kind of worth it. Um, 
Uh, there is a lot of other good items in here as well. You get a Supreme Kai Medal, you get an Elder Kai Medal, you get three Hercule Diamond statues, um, you get some of the Platinum Turtle Shells, which is kind of just filler there, and the Z-Swords, two of each uh, Platinum Turtle Shell, two of uh, seven of each Z-Sword. Uh, that's about it. Uh, personally, um, I don't... I'm not going to buy it, but I already have all of the 70% leaders with all two pads unlocked, so there's no real reason for me to do that. Uh, I don't have a reason to. But if you don't have them, it's worth it. But again, I'll be doing a separate video on that, so make sure to subscribe so that way you can get that video when it comes out. I'll be recording that after this video, but I'll be releasing it tomorrow morning. Anyway, new Supreme Kai trials have been added. So essentially, if you go into the mission rewards, you will see new supreme kai trials now some of you had asked me if i can do some team building around there because there hasn't been a lot um, i will do my best to do that for you uh it's really difficult essentially all i'm going to say is super strike characters super strike characters and do what you can with them um we have area four five and six now available for some of them uh, and in terms of what you use it for i just use it on stamina I use all the stuff on my stamina, but again, separate video. I'll go ahead and do a separate video with you guys on that just so we can go over it. It's really cool. You definitely want to try and take it on if you can. But um, yeah, guys, that's it. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up because I want to go record the Bluestone video because I'm going to have to go and do a little bit of a card overview of all those cards and everything and give you my opinion on the matter. And actually, I'm going to have to do some real research on this because this is a really tough decision now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm super hyped. Uh, I'm definitely going to be going and doing a whole bunch of stuff this week when it comes to this. If you haven't already checked it out, I have a whole bunch of videos planned on Gogeta and Janemba. Uh, so make sure to go ahead and check them out when they get released. Most of the schedule is going to be around 1 p.m. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.